Okay, now for 13, part B from June 2014 IAL. Um, figure 4 shows the design for a logo that should be displayed on the side of a large building. The logo consists of three rectangles. Okay, so we know they're rectangles. So, a few things we can deduce from that. One of the things we can deduce is that these are right angles. All these are right angles. Okay, and that these sides are equal. That's two, that's two all the way across there's four, there's four and so on okay um, C, D and E those are the names of the rectangles which is in contact with two horizontal parallel lines okay L1 and L2 rectangle D touches rectangle C and E as shown okay rectangle C, D and E are each have length four meters and width two meters the acute angle the, um, theta between the line L2 and the longer edge of each rectangle is shown. So that's theta, okay, and as these lines are parallel, um, these lines will be parallel, this must also be theta, okay, that's going to be 90 degrees, alright, so you can deduce a few things from this anyway. Now, given that L1 and L2 are 4 meters apart, show that 2 sine theta plus cosine theta equals 2. So they've asked us to make some sort of link between um, for this the, the total height between those two parallel lines. Okay, so the total height between those those two parallel lines is 4 meters. So if I just draw a little line over here, we can see if I draw a line between this point vertically up and I call that length, for example, uh, let's say uh, x1. And I also draw a line here, okay, between there and there. So that's x1, and there's x2, okay. I know that x1 plus x2 must be 4 meters. So obviously I've got to find, in terms of theta, okay, um, x1 and x2, sine and cosine theta. Now I know that this is theta, okay, this angle here is theta, and I know that this angle is 90 minus theta, because this is 90 degrees, right, that's parallel, that's vertical, that's horizontal, so that's 90 minus, that's 90 minus theta, that's 90, that must also be theta here, they've got a theta over here as well, okay, so here we have theta, and we have theta, okay, because we know that this angle all right, these two angles must add up to 90 degrees. If this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta. And you've got 90 minus theta plus 90. Okay. So this is going to give you 180 minus theta. All right. And that must be theta then, because the total angle must be 180. Yeah, because here you have 90. So you have 90 plus, I'll just, just to make sure you understand, 90 plus 90 minus theta. That's these two angles together. Now, what do you have to add to this to make this into 180? You have to add theta to it. Okay, so you end up with 180. So this angle must be theta because you've got to add it to these two to give you 180 as a total there. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We can now express x1 and x2 in terms of theta. Okay, so what do we have here? We know that this is 4 meters and this is 2 meters. Okay, so what we can do here is we can say that sine for this for this x2 we can say that that's opposite that's hypotenuse we can say sine of theta is equal to x2 over 4 not x squared x2 x2 over 4 all right so we can say x2 is equal to 4 times sine theta all right i'm showing you my work here so that we can see what's happening and here for um this x1, I, I know this is adjacent and this is the hypotenuse, 2 meters is this here, right, that's the 2 meters. Okay, so this is a hypotenuse and this is the adjacent, so I can say cosine theta is equal to the adjacent, which is x1, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So I can say that x1 is equal to 2 times cosine theta, and I know that x plus x1 plus x2 is 4, so 2 cosine theta plus 4 sine theta is equal to 4. So I can say that from what I've done, x1 plus x2 is equal to 4. And what we've shown up there was x1. What we've shown is x1 is 2 cosine theta. And we've shown that x2 is 4 times 
uh, sine theta, right? So we can say that x1 plus x2 equals 4, so I can say 2 times cosine theta plus 4 times sine theta equals 4. And this is an equation that we can simplify. Everything is divisible by 2, so we can say cosine theta plus 2 sine theta is equal to 2, which is the same as, just rewriting it the other way around, 2 sine theta plus cosine theta is equal to 2. So that's part B done. I'm going to do part C next.